In this video, I will show you a circuit example in which we will have several capacitors connected in series and parallel. Okay, see, I have this two microfarad connected in series with the parallel connection of three microfarad and this five microfarad, and we are supplying the circuit with hundred volt source, and we have to calculate the charge and the voltage stored across. each capacitor we have to calculate the voltage and charge across each capacitor now before going to the circuit solution let me show you the simulation to get the idea of the voltage stored across each capacitor okay now look at the simulation of the circuit here i have this 2 microfarad is connected in series with the parallel of 3 microfarad and this 5 microfarad connection and i am supplying this circuit with this 100 volt source okay now see the voltage that will be stored in the capacitor will be 80 volt see the voltage across the capacitor of 2 microfarad will be 80 volt and the voltage between this terminal to this terminal is equal to 20 volt that means our the voltage across the 5 microfarad will be 20 volt and the voltage across the 3 microfarad will be 20 volt so this point to this point will have a voltage of 80 volt this point to this point we will have a voltage of 20 volt 80 plus 20 will be 100 volt okay now let me proceed with the circuit solution when we have n number of capacitances connected in parallel how do we find the equivalent capacitance of them we simply add the parallel capacitors c1 plus c2 up to cn when we have n capacitors connected in series how do we find the equivalent capacitance we simply take c equivalent equal to reciprocal of c equivalent equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 1 by c n okay now see to calculate the charge across each capacitor we must know the value of capacitance and the voltage across that capacitance after that i will simply use q equal to cb formula to cap to calculate the charge across that capacitor once i know the value of voltage stored in that capacitor okay we are applying this 100 volt dc voltage between this terminal to this terminal let's say i denote this terminal with terminal a and this terminal with terminal c and this terminal with terminal b now look between the terminal b and c there you will see we will have 3 microfarad and this 5 microfarad connected in parallel therefore the voltage difference between this terminal to this terminal or the voltage across 3 microfarad and this 5 microfarad will be same and the voltage difference between a to b will be the voltage stored in the 2 microfarad capacitor see here as the 3 microfarad and the 5 microfarad are connected in parallel i can easily replace them with their equivalent capacitance see as they are connected in parallel their equivalent capacitance let's say denote that with c equivalent 1 will be the sum of these three these two capacitors c equivalent 1 equal to 3 microfarad plus 5 microfarad this will be equal to 8 microfarad if i replace the 3 microfarad and this 5 microfarad with their equivalent capacitance of 8 microfarad the voltage difference between this b terminal to c terminal will remain same therefore i can go to the circuit okay see i have replaced the capacitors with their equivalent capacitance of 8 microfarad now see between a terminal and c terminal we have only two capacitors connected in series and we are applying this 100 volt voltage across a and c terminal when we have two capacitors connected in series we can simply use voltage divider rule to calculate the voltage across each capacitor what is the voltage divider rule let's say if i want to calculate the voltage stored in the 
2 microfarad capacitor V across 2 microfarad will be equal to I will take the capacitance of other capacitor 8 microfarad divided by the sum of the capacitors connected in series 2 microfarad plus 8 microfarad into 100 volt in the next line I will get eight divided by ten into hundred. Therefore voltage across this two microfarad will be equal to eighty volt. And in the simulation I have shown you that the voltage is stored in the capacitor two microfarad will be equal to eighty volt. Now let me calculate the voltage across the eight microfarad capacitor. Now see if I want to calculate the voltage across this 8 microfarad capacitor voltage across 8 microfarad capacitor or the voltage between B to C terminal see previously we have 3 microfarad and 5 microfarad capacitors connected between this B and C terminal therefore the voltage across 8 microfarad capacitor will be exactly equal to the voltage across 3 microfarad and 5 microfarad capacitors ok if I want to calculate the voltage across this 8 microfarad capacitor I will take the capacitance of other capacitor 2 microfarad divided by the sum of capacitances connected in series 2 microfarad plus 8 microfarad into 100 volt therefore you will see the voltage across this B and C terminal will be equal to 2 by 10 into 100 therefore it will be equal to 20 volt now I know the voltage across the 2 microfarad capacitor I know the value of voltage across 3 microfarad and the 5 microfarad capacitor the voltage between the voltage of the 2 microfarad capacitor will be 80 volt and the voltage between the 3 microfarad and 5 microfarad capacitor will be equal to 20 volt once I know the value of capacitors I can easily calculate the charge stored in the 2 microfarad, 3 microfarad and this 5 microfarad capacitors let's say I want to calculate the voltage ac let's say I want to calculate the charge across this 2 microfarad capacitor charge in 2 microfarad capacitor will be equal to C of 2 microfarad and voltage across this 2 microfarad capacitor which will be equal to 2 microfarad or 2 into 10 to the power of minus 6 farad into voltage stored in the capacitor is 80 volt which will be equal to 160 micro coulomb ok now what will be the charge stored in the capacitor of 3 microfarad charge stored across the 3 microfarad will be equal to its capacitance 3 microfarad or 3 into 10 to the power minus 6 into the voltage across it 60 so I will get 20 so I will get 60 into 10 to the power minus 6 or 60 micro coulomb after that I will calculate the charge stored in the capacitor of 5 microfarad there you will see I will have 5 microfarad 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 into the voltage across it 20 therefore I will get 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 or 100 micro coulomb of charge will be stored between the 
टू प्लेट्स ऑफ द कैपेसिटर ऑफ फाइव माइक्रोफेर ओके दैट्स इट थैंक यू